Bell. Tell me, what is a more cozy indulgence than dipping anything in melted chocolate and caramel sauce? Yeah, it's hard to beat, and that's what we're having in today's Daily Dish. Jyoti's making us a sweet charcuterie, and we're starting with a mouth-watering chocolate sauce. So here's what you need to make it. Some dark chocolate, cocoa, heavy cream, condensed milk, and flaky salt. Okay, Jyoti, I'm not exaggerating when I tell you I am already drooling over this. Please, how do we make this? It is so easy, Trace. Literally comes together in like two minutes. You want to have your heavy cream already warm. So I've warmed mine up. It is very, very hot. This is the key to getting that sauce nice and creamy. So you're going to pop your dark chocolate into a heat proof bowl. And into that, you're going to sift in your cocoa. You're sifting it in because you don't want any clumps in your silky smooth chocolate sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get that in, and then this gorgeous condensed milk. It just adds another oh. layer of sweetness to that dark chocolate. It's so good. And then we do the flaky salt at the end. So you're going to take your heavy cream, and you're going to literally just pour it over that mixture. I like to let it sit for, like, 15 seconds. Just let the heat do its job. Let it melt that chocolate. And then with a whisk, not with a spatula, with a whisk, because you want to emulsify it. Okay. You're just going to whisk it all together. And that heavy cream is doing its job. It's melting the chocolate. This is just the dreamiest stuff to dip anything and everything in. Oh, my gosh. And so easy, too. Like, you didn't even have to do the double boiler thing. Like, you're just, it's basically the cream is doing all the work for you. Okay, you've got a few rules for how to build a sweet charcuterie board, which I can't wait to hear. And maybe you can just walk us through what you have on your board. It looks so good. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So you want a combination of, like, textures and flavors. So crunchy is so important and balances out those dips so nicely. So cookies, um, wafers, shortbread, any of those things work great. And then you have savory. So things like pretzels, popcorn. If you like, if you're a fan of savory and sweet, add your favorite savory treats onto your board and it will be a match made in heaven. Fruit is great because it just refreshes your palate so if you're dunking a lot of things in chocolate sauce, it's not a bad idea to slide in maybe like a slice of an orange or a raspberry just to balance out everything that's going on in your mouth. And then lastly, boozy. So our caramel sauce has a nice dose of whiskey in it. So that just warms up everything. So when you're <laughs> dipping things that aren't super sweet into that, it just I mean, it's just this warm explosion in your mouth. It's incredible. <laughs> uh, I believe you. And everyone at home is wondering, how do I make that whiskey caramel sauce? So we're putting that on our Instagram. Go to City Line's Instagram to see that recipe. The other good tip that you give is that you, if you are going to use fruit, make sure that's the last thing you put on the board because that needs to be sort of the freshest. And the other thing is make sure everything is in a proper bite-sized piece. Why is that important? Who likes double dippers? Unless you're eating the board by yourself on your couch, we don't want people double dipping. So the smaller the pieces that you're dipping, the easier the bite is going to be. And just like the bite's just more well-rounded. So like you're getting that sauce, you're getting that cookie or that berry or whatever it is. It's just a fuller and yummier bite. Her recipe and instructions are <laughs> up you. on our website. That's cityline.tv.